Hey guys and welcome back to the Coder's Legacy channel. In this video we're going to take a look at the Take Enter Option Menu widget. Okay, so it's a pretty simple widget and as the name suggests it basically gives you a menu of options. Okay, so it kind of looks like a button and you click on it and then it gives you a drop down list of options. Okay, and then you can select one of them. Okay, and that option will appear on the button. Okay. So there's quite a few things we can do with this, okay? And I'll be showing you some practical examples as well, all right? So um, let's get right into it. There isn't much to discuss. It's a pretty simple widget. There isn't much documentation on it. I'm not sure why, but uh, what I was able to find and what I was able to uh, gather about the widget, okay, I'll be sharing here with you today. So let's just go ahead and write some basic code. Okay, import take enter as tk. Okay, and root, okay, and we'll create our take integer class, okay, because it's good to use the object oriented approach, all right, and self, and we'll take in root as a parameter, we'll just call it master, okay, and then do self.master is equal to master, okay, this is just my style, okay, so this allows us to access master in other functions of the of the window class okay i'll just create the object for it over here pass in root root dot main loop and we're good this is our base code done so i'll go ahead and create the widget now i'll call it self dot menu okay because it's kind of like a menu and actually before that we need to create the frame so self dot frame is equal to tk dot frame okay and pass in self dot master in there okay and what else is there to do? Uh, well, let's just go ahead and pack the frame down here. Okay, self.frame.pack, pad x is equal to five, pad y is equal to five. Okay, and we're done there. Okay, so the self.menu widget now. Okay, tk.optionMenu, all right. Now, the parameters. The first one is obviously gonna be the parent, right? So self.frame. Now, what are the other parameters? Uh, the option menu widget is kind of unique. Uh, well, slightly. So it uses actually those string wars and uh, int wars. Actually, it just uses a string war, I think. So the string war basically is a special kind of variable in Takinter that's used to store data for Takinter widgets. You might have seen this before in radio buttons and check buttons. This is what it looks like. I'll call it soft.war. So I'm just going to do tk.stringwar here to create it, okay, and we'll just pass this in right here, self.war, okay. Now the third parameter is going to be the list of options that uh, the option menu widget basically needs, okay, to display once you click it. So I'm going to do self.values, basically create a list here, actually I'll create the self.values list before this, okay, and over here I'm going to do... Uh, red, green, I'm just creating some options in here, blue, uh, yellow, okay, and yeah, that's, that's good enough. So then I'll go here and pass it in like this, self.values, okay, and yes, this is basically the format that's required, okay, this asterisk needs to be there, okay, I'll elaborate more on this uh, soon, okay, uh, towards the end, but uh, for now, just this is the format, okay, if you want to pass in a list of values, okay. So if I do self.menu.pack, pad x is equal to 50, pad y is equal to 50, and I run this, we can get to see our option menu widget right here. Currently, you don't see any value on it. Okay, the reason for that is that string var was in initialized to nothing, basically. It didn't have a default value. So that's why there is no value currently being shown. And this is important to remember that string var you know, the string warrant that we created, self.war, its value basically reflects the current value in the option menu widget. If we change that, if we change the value of self.war, we also change the current value being displayed in the tk, in the tk dot option menu widget, okay? Now, I can still, you know, see all these options over here. I can select them as well, okay? So let's just try and, and improve upon this, okay? The first thing I want to do is basically set a fixed size for the window. Okay, geometry 200 by 150. And the second thing that I want to do is set a default value. 
saldo value is equal to self dot values and this basically what this does is assigns it the first value in the uh, you know self dot values index sorry list okay so by default it should show red okay so let's just run this now and see our output okay okay so we see red there by default and I can change the values over here the window isn't changing size either as I change the values because I gave it a fixed size okay so pretty good now let's take a look at how to you know make some practical implementations of the option menu widget so basically you're selecting one of many options now don't you want something to actually happen as you select an option like you're in a game and you're selecting one of many values from a drop down list for the screen resolution so the screen resolution changes doesn't it when you select one of those values so what if we do something similar over here what i want to do basically is change the color of the window every time we select one of these options okay so i'm going to go here and create a new function called uh, do something or let's just call it change color okay so self dot sorry self comma and value okay i'll explain this in a minute and let's just leave this empty for now i'll go over to the option menu widget and pass in a command parameter and basically link it to our change color function so now every time we select a value in the option menu widget, okay, every time we do that, this function will be called, which is exactly what we want. Okay, now we could use a button, okay, we could use a button instead, and then once we click on that button, only then the changes take effect, okay, but that may or may not be what you want to do, so just do things accordingly, it's pretty much the same thing, okay, there's not, not much of a difference. So, uh, the change color over here. The reason why there's an additional parameter over here is because the option menu widget passes in an additional parameter by itself, okay? And that's basically the current value that we selected. So that already saved us half of the work that we need to do, okay? So let me just show you this, basically, okay? If I select green, it prints out green. If I select yellow, it prints out yellow, and so far, and so on, okay? So just one more thing, by the way. I want to show you how to access the self.var variable over here, okay? So just in case you want to later on. So you can do self.var.get, okay? And you can get the current value. This is basically the same thing, okay? And if you want to set it, sorry, you know, if you want to give it a value, you can use the set function, okay? It's up to you, okay? So, yeah. But I really want, what I really want to do here is actually self frame dot config okay and bg is equal to value this is what i really want to do and if you're a little confused on what config does i have a whole separate video on that which i'll link in the description below okay so you can go check that out but basically what i'm doing here is just changing the background color okay and i'm assigning it the current value so this might be for example red or green okay so if I run this now, and if I select blue, this turns blue. Okay, uh, the reason why that's not blue, you know, some parts of the screen, that's because there's some padding, okay? Uh, so if I do this, hmm, wait, it's kind of weird. Hmm. Okay, that didn't happen once when I did it earlier. Okay, just give me a minute. Let me figure this out. Okay, I have an idea. I'm pretty sure I know what I did different from last time because last time I tried this out, this worked perfectly fine. Uh, expand is equal to true. Okay, let's see if this fixes it. No, not yet. So that means that we need to use this one as well. Fill is equal to uh, tk.both. This should allow it to basically expand properly. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, so now it's working perfectly fine. And you can see that this is you know, pretty good. 
Okay, we're changing the color, and you could easily, you know, basically rework this application for anything. You could basically make this for screen resolution, screen size, or whatever. Okay, and by the way, if you want to know more about this, you can just go and check out my layout videos on on TechInter. This is a whole separate topic. Okay, it's like a massive, it's like a, a whole new world in TechInter. Okay. So there's a lot to learn in you know taking care. Okay, what you've just what you've done so far is probably just the surface. Okay, it's an entire layout you know element. Okay, it's like different layout managers, different settings. So go check that out if you want to. Okay, you'll learn a lot definitely. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys subscribe to the channel. You know you know leave some like likes, leave a comment or so. Okay, leave some feedback. Okay, if you guys are interested in seeing something uh, specifically, okay, a tutorial on something specific then yeah let me know okay otherwise i'll see you guys in the next video